In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Lord's Holy Spirit be with you all. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as the fount of mercy forgiven us, divine wisdom, divine knowledge, right judgment, or good counsel, we trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Oh, my Jesus, I trust in you. My friends, this is Sir uh, Nicholas uh, from the Divine Mercy Healing Ministries in Mississauga, Toronto, Canada. I just want to share a very beautiful, very, uh, what you call, great blessing of our time. It has a long history of 50 years of history. Yesterday, the feast of Saint, nobody noticed that one. It was the feast of St. John the Baptist, the forerunner of Christ, who was tortured and beheaded by King Herod because he pointed at the wife, his, uh, him, telling, you are not allowed to keep your brother's wife, Herodia. King did not like him. The story, the history says that was a question to the face of the people, the, even the king. Are we ready to question some of our governments, politicians, leaders? Are we afraid? Now, John the Baptist paid the price. He was beheaded. But yesterday it was the feast of birth of John the Baptist. You know the birth. It was old age they got convinced, conceived. Elizabeth and Joachim, and sorry, Anna, uh, sorry, Elizabeth conceived um, Zachariah, um, uh, John the Baptist. It was another miracle of God. God has his own plan. Nobody can solve it. Now I'm going to come into the main points. I will refer to this again. So yesterday, the Supreme Court of America squashed, overturned a unconstitutional abortion law passed in 1973, June 22nd, by the, the then Supreme Court of America. And since then, so many people were crying and praying to squash it, and nobody, not even any other presidents came on the power in America could intervene. Nor the Senate, nor the Congress, or in general, American Parliament, nor the Supreme Court were dared to change that law. But God in his plan, hearing the cry and prayer of millions of people throughout the world, especially in America and Canada, so-called pro-life people, priests, religious bishops, and lay people, making rallies in October, in May 12th, Mother's Day in Canada. And that's only annual program, but every day some of them are sincerely praying for abortion. I myself humbly do that prayer during the Divine Mercy Hour, where Faustina made a prayer for aborted children. I hear so many things. Not only read the word, that's my habit. I don't follow all the book written there. Sometimes we have to adjust or arrange and add or de remove some of the words in our prayers. There is no sin at all. So for the children who are, are being born un uh, in the womb of their mothers, I say for the conversion and fear of God, right judgment of all the governments and judges of America and Canada and throughout the world, we pray to the mercy of God. Then I say, I baptize all the children born dead in the wombs of their mothers. Then I say, I baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. I give names, Joseph, Mary, Anthony, Faustina, St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Peregrine, Blaise, St. Nicholas. My favorite names will be given. Spiritually baptized children around the world. So that way, I do a little bit in that way, but millions of people are making fasting, abstinence, everything. 
finally god prepared and made this this decision and everybody know very slow wave in other countries yesterday i watch american channels people in uh, ladies feminist radical feminists in kenya india and other countries are reacting it is the worst day in the history of world you know that yesterday i heard one count 63 million that mean 6 crores 30 million uh, th- lakhs of children have been butchered in the womb of their mother in the factory of abortion factories which we call abortion clinics or p- planned parenthood clinics in america and canada and europe and other countries in england other countries so many and i would say when the covid started i told one of the reason every nation is affected by co- this covid why not only china who produced that one in wuhan i still believe that they did it for the world monopoly even it is disputed even uno cannot deny any inquiry so that's a chinese supremacy wickedness but what i said every nation is guilty and were punished by god because every nation passed laws of abortion legalizing abortion at any stage just before 2020 march early march the indian so called rss hindutva government of modi as the lady minister for child welfare maternal care shruti rani brought a bill in the indian parliament and passed the worst abortion law nobody questioned them of course we do cannot question but we could have react and protest no party even the congress uh, kerala congress muslim league nobody not even the church did anything there very poor reaction god punish the world by this covid virus because of that worst sin general to every nation that is called abortion that's my prophetic interpretation of covid in uh, spreading now lord we you heard our prayers and 2016 god was in his own way even the old testament to save the people of israel god used some kings we read king cyrus of uh, persia which is now iran and iraq uh, to save the country Egypt people against Roman invasion Roman empire which was nastier than any other government nothing can buy to Roman empire with our Hitler or communist Soviet empire they are worst but much worse was the Roman empire emperor Caesars or emperor emperors were to be worshiped as god they imposed all the pagan God, their own gods zeus apollo Ze- uh, venus and so many pagan gods and goddesses they made in the Gre- Gre- roma greek greco roman religion besides the kings or emperors to abuse and also they put all the gladiators to enjoy and when they were in the colosseum which is now a tourist center the history says i read the history of an old italian historian tacitus roman empire died out destroyed itself not by abortion but gay homosexuality according to saint paul writes in the first letter of romans about homosexuality man burn for men women burn for women and is a curse before god whether people say it's a hate crime or not word is a hate god's word is you are hating god that is your sin now that's about that now the abortion so during the election 2016 god prepared a man like cyrus in the old testament mr trump whom even indian media neglected and made fun of him He told in the before the last campaign dinner in New York, uh, Washington. 
Knight of Columbus, Mr. Pres um, Cardinal Dolan, Hillary is number one abortionist. As I become the president, I will bring down the um, abortion law of Wade and Roe passed by Supreme Court in 1973. He could not do it directly, but he got a, God gave a chance to appoint three special, special judges in the Supreme Court of America. And with that, now we got a majority of judges, out of nine judges, at least six of them, including Chief Justice John Roberts. Some take him out of that group, whether it is or not, it was passed, that law was against American Constitution. There is no right to kill the babies or others in the, what you call, abortion law. That's what they said. Now each state, 51 or 50 states of the United States can make their own laws. But nobody can argue as a part of constitutional right. That's the law. What I want to show you a book here. Why the Church in Canada or America died. This is a book written by Beth Control, Monsignor Vincent Foy. He died at the age of 102 a few years ago here in Scarborough in Toronto City. I heard about him, read about, from him. He was the secretary of Cardinal Carter in 1968 of Toronto. And that year, when just before that, Pope John Paul VI made an encyclical letter, Humane Vitae, despising, deploring pill, not directly about abortion, but he predicted the pill will lead to abortions and breakup of marriages and families and it destroy the nations. That's exactly what we hear every day in our countries. All the broken families, divorces, separation, children become crack addict, suicidal. All these are part of that crime of abortion and contraception. So, Father Vincent Paul used to tell that the beginning of the, uh, sorry, the Cardinal, under Cardinal Carter, the Canadian Church Bishop's Conference, second in the world, after first was Dutch Church. They left, the, rejected the encyclical letter of Pope, Pope Paul the Sixth, Humane Vitae, and left the choice to the women, pro-choice, women's choice. And Vincent Foy was a secretary to the cardinal, and he mentioned to the cardinal, we are eminent, we are disobeying car, uh, uh, in, uh, the Pope, forget that, let him win the Vatican, we are in Canada. And Father Vincent told, I wrote this book explaining details of the Humane Vitae. I got it from his, from his hand. And his, that was the beginning of the death of the Church of Canada. That itself tells everything. If you want more, I will talk to you later on the YouTube. But that is the beginning. But the wicked, the world liberal, and the femi radical feminist hated Mr. Trump. But he was the man chosen by God to bring good judges in the Supreme Court. I could see yesterday different varieties of people crying and hating Mr. Trump against the Supreme Court and uh, so-called Christians even. They don't understand. I want to make con conclude this little talk. No right to kill the baby or stop the sexual intercourse from stopping that from getting a baby. Secondly, when the baby is born, nobody got right to kill that one. That's not a woman's right, it's a woman's crime. Number one crime of killing infanticide. I was preaching every day and every time in my YouTube and other places, openly in the family groups, prayers. Lord, you heard our cry now at that worst law of the United States Supreme Court was squashed. Yesterday, the feast of John the Baptist. Let us rejoice and praise God. Let the world, especially in Kerala, India, 
and all the Keralites in, 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 in America and Canada. Praise God for the gift of that ruling coming from the Supreme Court of America. And God used Mr. Trump, I tell again and again. God used him. He was a brilliant guy, not a stupid man. If he was there, instead of this stupid man, old man Biden, there won't be any attack of Russia on Ukraine. Uh, well, that's a political uh, uh, talk. I will talk another time. I got my own political interpretation. Not like the Saha Yatrigan, Adadavacha Yatrigan, Valadubacha Yatrigan, what do you call, leftist uh, observer, politician, no. Straightforward politician. As a priest, from 1957, I know the evils of Communist Party in Kerala. As a high school student. From then, I was always interested in politics, real state politics. And accordingly, I said, it was God's blessing intervention that happened yesterday. So let us rejoice and praise God with Psalm number 100, 117, 103. God bless you all. Your Father Nicholas from Canada, uh, Mrs. Saga. God bless you.